West Virginia. West Virginia goes to Penn State to kick this thing off 2023 college football season. Um, look, let's get right into it. Hit the subscribe button. Drop a like on today's video. If you agree with what I'm saying, great. If you disagree with what I'm saying, I would love to hear it in the comments below. Look, the whole world's going to be on Penn State. This is college football. This is week one college football. This is the ultimate unpredictable crazy sport where un imaginable things happen. The spread is 19 and a half, but I'm going to talk in today's video why I think the Mountaineers have a very, very good chance of winning this game outright. Look, this is a cut and dry game. There's there's no illusions here. There's no smoke and mirrors. West Virginia wants to run the ball. Penn State doesn't have big D tackles. They got a good secondary, but West Virginia is not going to be throwing. They got a mobile quarterback in Garrett Green. C.J. Donaldson is an unbelievable running back, potentially the best running back in the Big 12, maybe this year, but definitely in the future. Pretty good offensive line for West Virginia. They're going to be run heavy. They know their only chance is not to let Penn State even touch the ball. Use as much clock as you can. Keep the game within reach. One or two fumbles, an interception, a blocked kick, who knows what's going to happen. It's college football week one, but if there's one thing I do know from going to West Virginia, from being a graduate, West Virginia does not win games they should. They win games they are completely counted out of. It is just history. There's nothing you can do about it. If you're a West Virginia fan and you're having those good years to where you think finally you're going to get the natty, no way. It never happens. They always blow it. They never, ever completely get the job done. But man, when they're counted out, when they're down and out, when they have no chance to do anything, you don't want to play against the old Golden Blue. That's how it works. We have a run a run heavy, a super run heavy offense with an unbelievable uh, re really group of running backs. I was going to say one, but Mathis and, and CJ Donaldson, there's probably two more that are almost worth mentioning, but I'm going to stick with those two. That's a killer one-two punch, a good O-line, some returning guys, an All-American up there. Penn State, good secondary, very athletic. Obviously, they have a lot of five-star talent. It's Penn State football, but can they stop the run? It, can can West Virginia manage this game just good enough? And can this new guy for Penn State, I mean, you got to realize they had the same quarterback for what, 15 years? I mean, he was there forever. So I know he's five-star. I know the talent's there. I know the resume's good. I know everything looks good. It's week one. It's college football. It's a rivalry. I don't know. I think West Virginia's got a legitimate shot. I'm going to be sprinkling the money line, maybe a quarter of a unit. I'm definitely taking West Virginia to cover 19 and a half. Uh, the only thing that concerns me is their D. I mean, their defense is horrible. And 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 the only chance here is it's a new guy, a new system. Uh, well, not a new system, but it's a new guy, right? You got you to gotta break this kid in. It doesn't matter if it's a home game. That's a huge stadium. It's going to be rowdy. It's going to be a crazy, crazy environment. And if West Virginia can just simply get off to a good start, and maybe get one or two handouts on a special teams play or a lucky fumble or just something that simply goes their way, they're going to win this game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.